Well, many folks are speaking out regarding recent protests across the country, including former Hawkeyes. KCAU 9 sports anchor Jacob Russo has more. Jacob? Thanks, Hannah. Former Iowa Hawkeyes football players are speaking out on Twitter about what they call racial issues within the culture of the Iowa Hawkeyes football program. On Friday night, former Iowa offensive lineman and current Chicago Bear James Daniels tweeted, quote, there are too many racial disparities in the Iowa football program. Black players have been treated unfairly for far too long. Multiple other former Hawkeye players responded to Daniels' tweet with their own anecdotes, many criticizing longtime strength and conditioning coach Chris Doyle for racist comments and incidents in the past. Others, such as Amani Hooker, said the issue was cultural with a tweet that read, quote, I remember whenever walking into the facility, it would be difficult for black players to walk around the facility and be themselves, as if the way you grew up was the wrong way or wasn't acceptable, and that you would be judged by that and it would impact your playing time. Former defensive lineman Faith Ekakite defended Kirk Ferentz, saying the head coach was the reason he wanted to come and play for the Hawkeyes in the first place. But the issues were with the strength and conditioning staff. After all of this, head coach Ferentz spoke with these former players and released the following statement. I appreciate the former players' candor and have been reaching out to many of them individually and will continue to do so moving forward to learn more about their experiences in our program. I am planning on talking to many more of them in the coming days. This is a process. It's going to take some time, but change again starts by listening first. Many of the discussions have centered around our strength and conditioning program and Coach Chris Doyle. I've spoken with him about the allegations posted on social media. They're troubling and cre have created a lasting impact on those players. Therefore, Coach Doyle has been placed on administrative leave immediately while an independent review can take place. He and I agree that all parties have to have their voices heard and then a decision about how we move forward will take place.